What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Devontae Adams' route running. We're going to be talking about how you guys can run a whip route, how you guys can use a slide release, and how you guys can make all your routes look the same, okay? So I hope this video gives you guys some value. Now, guys, if you want to get faster off the line, you want to be more explosive at the top of your breaks, check out that very first link in the description, fellas. It's a two-month-long wide receiver workout bundle. So it's all the specific exercises you need to do in the gym to train your hips, to train your overall just like stability of your body, balance, explosiveness, everything that will translate to on-field play for wide receivers specifically. Specifically, check out that very first link in the description. Now, guys, I hope we get you guys on this program. It's two months of wide receiver specific gym workouts, a full plan broken down for you, a lot cheaper than buying two separate programs on my site. So, I hope we get you guys on that soon. Let's get started with this video. So, we're going to be looking at a slide release here from Adams. He's going to give him this little one two, then he's going to break to the inside, snap this thing off, and run a whip route, right? So, let's watch this thing full speed. So, he gives a slide, one two, breaks to the inside, snaps it off, then we accelerate back outside. So, now let's talk about this. So, maybe a couple times in the game, I've worked this slide release, right? I want to make everything on a whip route look like what? You want to make it look like a slant. Some guys, like you look at guys like Keenan Allen, they'll make their whip routes look like a drag route where they just go straight there. They have they have speed. They get this DB to commit. Sets up a lot of other things, right? So I want to make this one look like a slant release. But now, you guys got to understand when he works this slide release, um, Aaron Rodgers probably isn't coming to him right away on this, right? It's probably something where it's a longer developing play. He's probably high lowing. He's probably going from one to two, back down to Adams three. We're going one, two, okay. Okay, it's not there. I'm going to flip this thing out to Adams on this whip route. So we got a little bit of time. I can't get out to this break, out to the flats here too quick because Rodgers isn't ready for me. So that's part of the reason why we go with this slide release. I go with this slide release. I'm nice and patient. I slide. I hit him with this one, two, and make this thing look like a slant. Now, how do I make it look like a slant? What can get this DB to actually jump on this route is I commit my shoulders and I commit my hips and I have speed to the break, right? So that's exactly what Adams does. You see how the first thing that shoots around, shoulders and hips are fully committed. He's not drifting out of it. Now, what slows him down is this inside foot snapping down. You guys got to trust it on a whip route that your inside foot is the foot that's going to slow you down. This is something that we talk about it a lot on curls and comebacks that like, you, oh, you don't want to, um, it's not so much about steps, it's about cutting out time. On a whip route, I really do believe the same thing, but I think a whip route, it's a lot easier to get out in two steps as it is. It's easier to get out in two steps on a whip route than it is to get out in three on a comeback or a curl, right? Just, be, just simply because it's a shorter break, you're not as deep downfield, and it's more efficient to do it like this simply, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. So he drops his weight on the second step. You see how he doesn't slow down on this step. He doesn't slow his speed. He's got speed to the break and uses his hips to drop him down. Now you see when you snap on the inside leg, what do you think comes next? You want to take your right foot in this case and you want to hook it around because when you could hook it around, it puts you in an explosive position to drive out towards the sideline because this drop right here is what gets you separation. DB isn't expecting that. DB's thinking slant. He's seen us work this slide release before, whether I'm getting the ball or whether I'm not getting the ball. This isn't a new look to him. So I'm making it look the exact same. Now I make it look the same. I burst to the slant. I get him to commit. He wants to, he wants to pick this thing off and take it the other way. So I drop this thing off right now. I hook this leg around. I get my hips squared up to the squared up to the line of scrimmage to the quarterback with my shoulders. Now the reason why we hook this step like I was talking about is because when you hook around you could push off of that leg. That hook step allows you to create some energy and really drive off that inside arch so you can widen the distance. Anybody could get to this point. Anybody can drop suddenly anybody could have violent hips. However However, what do you do after that? Do you waste too much time? Do you drag and you, you take all these extra steps and then this DB is able to recover? Or are you able to get out efficiently into steps to shoot out of this break? And that's what Adams does. And you see how he's pushing off of that cut leg. And to be able to do this in the snow, fellas, is one of the most impressive things that I've really seen like from any of the film from the past year. Because this is hard to do on turf. You know what I mean? So to be able to do this in snow, that's, that's very, very impressive. And it goes to show what kind of a route runner Adams is. Now, especially when maybe we don't have the best footing, what do you think takes care of this route for us? My arms. So I got to make sure that I continue to pump my arms. Got to make sure I continue to widen the distance. So what? I got separation from this guy. Can I keep separation? Can I win the race to the ball so I'm able to catch this thing and go make a first down? Let's watch this thing again full speed one more time. Great job making this route look the exact same with the slide. Hit him with the one-two, snap this thing off, and let's accelerate out this route. Great route there by Adams. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, fellas, two-month-long wide receiver training program. Link in the description below. It's two months of the specific workouts, all broken down to a specific set plan for 28 days for the first month, 28 days of the second month, but more advanced workouts. Hope we get you guys on that soon. See your results faster, and um, I'll see you guys next time.